Okay, we'll continue from where we left off. Um, we now have seen that power series can be, you know, is is uh, is one category of functions, or functions can be written as power series. Uh, although we will see the generality of it more later down the road. Uh, so the question comes to mind is, okay, we so far what did we do with power series functions? We found their domain, right? Where are they defined? What else can we do with functions? If you think back to our calculus one, we can differentiate them if the derivative exists. We can integrate them if they're continuous, so we can find the areas and all well defined. And that we can do with power series as well. So there's a theorem which says that if the power series will take the general power series uh, with center at C. So n equals 0 to infinity a n x minus c to the power n has radius of convergence r then okay so this is the hypothesis if the power series converges in a certain radius certain domain then in the interval C minus R and C plus R, right? So C is the center, R this way, R that way, as you see minus R C plus R. Then in this interval, the the function right, f of x equals the summation of a n x minus C to the n and equals zero to infinity. So, if you look at this power C as a function, this function in this interval is continuous, differentiable, which means its derivative exists at every point there, and integrable, and you can integrate its entire derivative exists as well. Okay? And not only, uh, uh, not only uh, is this true? But in fact, the, the derivative is obtained by as simply as taking the derivative of each term at a time, just like you do for a polynomial, and same with the integration. So, in fact, the f prime of x right, will be you take the derivative, so it will be an, right? What will it look like? It will be. Uh, n a n x minus c to the power n minus 1 ok and so this will start with n equals 1 uh, to infinity ok and similarly for the integral right? We, we can do the term wise integration and that the resulting new power series will represent the integral of f of x so let's uh, create some space on the board to write this down better. I'll actually erase all of this and do this part again. So you can see what's going on. So let's write down the original series. F of x equals 0 to infinity and x minus c to the n. And let's write down a few terms so we can see how this works. Okay. This is the original power series, the function defined by the power series. So then the derivative would have this power series. Alright? So before we write down the sum, let's look at it over here. We'll basically what the theorem is saying is you take the term differentiation term wise. You take the derivative one term at a time and that will give you the derivative. So, derivative of this is 0, derivative of this is just a1 plus 2a2x minus c plus 3a3x minus c squared. Right? So, let's write this down. What would this look like? This is um, n a n x minus c to the power n minus 1 uh, is n minus 1. And as we 
said we started the end was one to infinity. This is what we wrote earlier on the board. That's the derivative, and then the integral of f of the entire derivative, same thing. Let's let's now integrate this guy one term at a time. So you can write it as a constant of integration, which could be any constant integration, and all of them will be entire derivatives. Plus a naught times x minus c plus a1 x minus c squared over 2, right? Uh, let's write down one more. a2 x minus c cubed over 3, and so on. So let's write this down. This is c plus the summation of uh, a n x minus c to the so the power here is one more than the subscript, right? n plus 1 and over. Also the denominator is one more than the subscript. So n plus 1 and n starts at 0 to infinity. Okay? So this is very nice because not only uh, the, the power series uh, can be, I mean, uh, it help us generalize the idea of function to represent functions which for which we may not be able to find explicit formulas but when we use power series as function we still can take the derivatives and integrals and the theorem says that in that interval from c minus r to c plus r the f prime and f and integral f will be also defined now what happens at the end points is not necessarily exactly the same meaning the end points might have been convergent points for the f but are not for the f prime or not for the integral so you have to check the endpoints separately and that's going to be, that's a small issue but otherwise the theorem is telling you that, you know as far as the whole interval is concerned, minus the endpoints things are nice, nice, to put it in very high level words things are the way you would expect them to be if you thought of these as polynomials but they are kind of infinite polynomials but things still work out okay, so now what you should do is take this idea and practice some problems where you compute derivatives and integrals of some functions for which you have been given the power series. And that finishes our topic for 9.8 power series.